So I did a video a while ago showing you how you can use Snapchat filters in your live stream using a program called Snap Camera. And if you haven't seen that video, well, uh, sorry to tell you, but uh, yeah, they're shutting it down. Happy New Year, yay. Yeah, so unfortunately it is true, it's official starting January 25 this year, you will no longer be able to download Snapcam and all of the lenses that you've been using, all the channel point redeems that you've set up, they're no longer gonna work. So I'm really rushing to get this video out because you have basically two weeks to prepare, but thankfully you still have a couple options so that you can continue using your Snapchat filters even after Snapchat kills Snapcam. This video was sponsored by me. Give me all your money on Patreon. Did you guys know that I have that? I've started making custom made widgets that you can try out at the tier two level or higher. There's also a tier one for $3, which you get nothing, okay? It's just because you're nice. Sometimes I give you guys teasers and stuff at the $3 tier, but for the $10 tier and higher, uh, you get access to my custom widgets that I literally had to learn a new programming language to make, so yay. Anyway, you guys didn't come here for me to sell you stuff that you never asked for. So let's talk about Snapchat. So what are your options? Number one is to back up all of your lenses so that even after Snapchat kills Snapcam, all your lenses are already on your PC, so they can't get to them. And the second option is to install a third party Snapcam client. So. I've been talking to a few really smart people and there seems to be a lot of interest in creating a modified version of Snapcam, but my top recommendation is still going to be to back up all of your Snapcam lenses. And that is for a very good reason, but uh, we'll, I'll explain that later. If you're impatient, you can just skip to the next chapter. Here, I'll, I'll even put a timestamp here because I'm not an asshole. So how do you back up all of your lenses? So the first thing you're going to need to do is find every single lens that you want to preserve and make sure that you click the star thing to favorite them. So make sure you pick all of the ones that you could possibly ever want because after Snapchat kills Snapcam, you won't be able to search for any more lenses to add to your collection. Next, we need to cache all of your favorited lenses so that all of the information and data is stored on your PC. And the way to do that is to go into your settings and increase your cache size. So the maximum cache size that you can possibly have is one gigabyte. Set that to one gigabyte. Then, and then this step is super important. Make sure that you do this. Go over to your favorites tab, click on the very first lens and activate every single lens. So just keep on pressing right until you get to the end of your favorites list and that will make sure that it caches all of your lenses. Next, you probably wanna back up all of the files and the actual lens files that Snapcam uses to store all your settings because sometimes Snapcam just freaks out and deletes all of your favorited lenses and I, I don't know why that happens. So it's probably a good idea to just back up all of your settings. So for me, I went to wherever I installed Snapcam. So this is where I have it installed program files. I backed up this whole folder. Now this folder just contains the program, so it doesn't contain any of your settings, but I think it's it's easy to just back it up anyway. So just do that. Uh, and then go over to where you have all of your uh, settings. So if you type in the bar app data and then go over, go back here and click on local, scroll down to where it says snap here go snap cam and this whole folder, this contains all your settings. So it's got your settings JSON file, make sure you have this backed up and then this cache folder is super important. So this lens folder, all these numbers, it seems to have like way more lenses than I seem to have cached. So it's probably caching some of the lenses that I use and not necessarily favorited. So doesn't matter. I don't even know what these numbers are, but just make sure that all of this is backed up as well. And then lastly, it's probably a good idea to just download the Snapcam installer too, because Snapchat is going to take down this download link on the 25th. So uh, just make sure that you have it just in case you need to reinstall it for some reason. Now doing all of that should be enough, but it is still technically possible for Snapcam to, or Snapchat. I don't know why they use different names. It's so annoying. Anyway, uh, there, it is still possible for Snapchat to 
do something server side to like clear your cache or something or like make it so that your client doesn't work anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to prevent Snapcam from being able to access the internet at all. So there'll be nothing that Snapchat can do server side to clear our cache because uh, we've put up the castle walls and stuff. So here's how you'll do that. So first go into your Windows firewall and uh, if you're on a Mac, I don't know how Macs work, so I'm sorry. So this is Windows only. Um, but go over to your Windows firewall and then go over to where it says outbound connections, right click in it, click on new rule. And then here you're gonna select program. Under this, we're gonna select whatever, wherever Snapcam is. So just go over to where you have Snapcam installed and select where it says snap camera. And then just press next. And over in this window, you want to block the connection. So yeah, Snapcam won't be able to connect to anything at all. Uh, leave all this at default. So just check all that and then just give it a name and then that's it. You're done. Now you can go ahead and relaunch Snapcam. So shut it down if it's already open. And if you did it right, it should say, oops, something went wrong. Uh, if you see that, that's great it means that our firewall rule worked. So one of the things that you'll notice is that if you go over to your favorites menu, uh, none of the thumbnails are there. Don't worry, it still works. So if I was to click on one of the lenses, you can, you can still see that I'm hot or you can click on this one. Uh, wah, or something. Um, so you won't see any of the names here, but everything will still work. You can still set hotkeys to everything. Uh, you just won't be able to see any of the names, but it'll, it'll all be there. But that's pretty much it for backing up your lenses. Now it is a little bit jank, I understand, but it is the most safe option because you have control of everything. All the files are on your computer. There's nothing anyone can do to shut down the program. However, I understand that it is weird because like you can't even see any of the names. Like it, it looks buggy even though it technically works. So let's talk about third party solutions. So I'm gonna tell you everything that I know so far. Now, keep in mind, this may change in the next few weeks. The first person that I talked to was DJ Tio. He's the one that made the cool sub printer for me. I <laughs> what he told me was that he can make a third party client and it is technically possible to host all of the lenses on a third party server, but that is almost certainly against TOS. That is his words. So he doesn't want to make something like that available to the public because uh, he doesn't want to get sued. So I talked to another person, Jaku from the, I met him through the crowd control community. And he basically said that he don't give a fuck. So yeah, he made his own third party client. And the only change that he made was instead of communicating with the Snapchat servers to get all the lenses, he's been backing up all of the lenses onto his own server. And so the third party client just communicates with that server instead. And it's basically as easy as downloading his modified version of the Snap Camera executable file and just replacing the one that's inside of your Snapcam folder. And then when you open up Snapcam again, it's gonna look just the same as regular Snapcam, but behind the scenes, instead of grabbing all of the lenses from Snapchat, it's communicating with his server where he has backed up supposedly over 30,000 lenses as of the time of making this video. But uh, yeah, it, it pretty much functions exactly the same. If you want to get the download, he made a GitHub repo where he'll be hosting all the code and you can get the exe file there. At the moment, it's totally empty, but he did tell me that's where he intends to put all the code. So basically the way it would work is you go to wherever you download the exe, get the exe file, and then go to where you have Snapcam installed and just replace the exe file that's already there. Now, between now and the 25th of January, if there's a lens that you activate that isn't on Jaku's custom server, then this modified version of Snapcam is just gonna get it from the 
official Snapcam servers and then back it up onto his custom server. So why that's important is Jaku wants as many people as possible to use this modified version of Snapcam so that it can back up as many lenses as possible because after the 25th, he's not going to be able to have access to any of those lenses. Now, I know that when I just told you guys to blindly install some weird third-party EXE file from some random person that you've never heard of, some fire alarms probably went off and you guys were like, Naughty, that's bad, you're going to get hacked and you're through crypto miners and stuff. Like, yeah, I know. That's why I told you guys to back up rather than install a third-party solution because you don't know where this EXE file is coming from. Also, that's probably exactly how you guys sound. I, I just know it. And the other issue is the TOS concern. We have no idea if Snapchat will go after Jaku and try to take down his custom server, or maybe Jaku just doesn't want to pay for a server like a couple months from now or whatever. Like, we don't know any of that. So you do run the risk of relying on a third-party server that may get shut down in the future, and then you're just back to square one anyway. So... Again, my top recommendation is please back up your Snapcam lenses because that is a foolproof method that will definitely work. And then beyond that, it's up to you. If you want to use a third-party client, if another third-party client comes out, you can choose to use that, which I'll be doing. But again, everybody's needs are different and everyone has their own opinion. So just, just do whatever you want, okay? I, I'm not going to judge you. But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh... Do I keep this in the edit? Because this is really awkward. <laughs>